welcome guys to another tutorial on my channel where currently I am learning flutter and I'm making all the tutorials around it so today what I'm going to do is like I'm again going to create a news app that is going to fetch news from the API and uh, what additional capabilities that I have learned that we will be applying here so this app is going to use the MVVM model view view model architecture and that is like uh, the app that has the all the qualities of a like a new new architecture that is popular right now so all that I have done like in the past with the apps that I have made and whether it's flutter news app that I have made recently it also have the view model it does not sorry it does not have the view, view model so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to implement MVVM architecture to the app that we are going to create now so this is just the demo and yeah this is just the design up to you the way you want to design it and uh, you can see the images are like has radius and the title and the detail is opening and the title of the news is being shown in app bar also and also interestingly we can select a country so these are the news from Korea and if the photo is not available then this is the placeholder that we are placing in so also yeah so just as like the last time what we have done is uh, what we have done in the past with the flutter news app is that we were uh, we were fetching the news the top headlines and also we were able to fetch the news with the categories so if we had the special categories then we were able to search news by that too so what we will do is today we will create this app where we are able to search news by the country and also by the by the yeah the top headline the main link that we have so without a further ado let's get right into it and we can name this as the mvvm oh it has to be in flutter mvvm news and make sure that you put the flutter link wherever you have installed your SDK and let's go next and finish and I think I did not bring my phone with me the one that I used for Android development and all the testing so maybe we have to see the demo on the on the emulator but uh, yeah if we if we use our fonts then it's more beautiful and Twitter is really amazing so first and foremost what we will do is we will add our packages in our pub specs dot yml file the the packages that we are going to use during this uh, project so we need uh, we need package from DAO and uh, this is I will explain what it does for us this is for fetching data from the API this is helping us to make HIP HTTP request and provider this also helps to provide data from the view model cache shared network image so this loads the image from the internet and lastly Intel is for time conversion And you see this like whenever you are editing your pub spec dot file is like it has to 
be at a certain space from its left to space so your packages have to have no background like this and then only it will work so let's just click on get and uh, yeah if you see here exit code 0 that means the packages have been successfully imported to your app and you can click here get dependencies and for now we will just get rid of this uh, boilerplate or the code that has been generated by the project itself so let's just get rid of this class and I'll be coming back to this so we will work on this later so let's just go and uh, create the stuff that we need we have two screens so we will do that screen package and we have a model and a view model and service that helps us to fetch the data and we have a constant where we can define our API link so I'm doing this in a separate each of this operation is going to take in the separate classes so it looks more robust and we have widgets and I think that's that's uh, it for now so what we'll do here is I'll just delete this and let's go and create our model first so I can name this like a model file class model new article so what do we want to fetch we want to fetch title we want to fetch the time we want to fetch description we want to fetch the URL so we can redirect our clicks to an URL to image which is an image and we will create a named constructor yep here we have so now what we will do is we will create a factory method with this class name so we will return our constructor in here and we will be passing the value so title is going to be JSON these are the name of the keys let me show you just close this and let's go and fetch this uh, response so I can just tell you so let's say this article it has all the information that we need we need title so make sure that these keys have the same spellings as these keys that we are entering so we need description JSON let's type description and if the spellings are wrong here then it will result in result in an error you know so be careful url to image json url to image what else url json url and lastly i think we have gotten what we need we one two three four uh, we need time published at json published app so that's it for this tutorial and in the next one we will be creating a view model
so i'll see you in the next one subscribe and like the video